hours. And for people that don't know, what you have is a portable generator. Like that's that's the system what, of what the Goal Zero is, which is you can. It's almost like a, a brick. Not as uh, doesn't weigh as much, but you can plug a uh, solar panel right into it. Yep. It'll store the energy and it'll mm-hmm. convert it back to DC and AC for you. Yeah, um, they're very portable. They even come with handles. You can move them around, but they're not a full solar setup, such as something that you know is part of the structure. You know, which I think thinking about the other type of system is um, when you're turning over an mm-hmm. Airbnb yeah. multiple times. Um, sometimes there's not enough time to charge, um, the goal zero, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think, so we ended up having to buy two, two, Mm -hmm. so we could swap one out, you know? Um, but I think it's just not as convenient as we're getting busier, you Mm -hmm. know? Right. Yeah. Now that the cabin is built and it was like, oh, if we had a, if we had a battery bank with a 400 watt solar system and it was just always charging or operational, like that would be easier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I will say the nice thing with the goal zero setup is the fact that it's an integrated kit. So it comes with the inverter already built into it. Mm-hmm. Um, the batteries built into it, the charging ports for the various, you know, USB, USB C 12 volt, um, pl- plus a standard one ten uh, three prong, three prong plug. Mm-hmm. Um, the, it's a, it's just there. You don't have to think about how to you, right out of the box, you out of the box. Storing. It's ready. Yeah. And you know, and I think that's one thing that probably intimidates some people, um, especially with solar specifically. I mean, I'll even admit that before I got into this, like thinking about setting up or developing a solar system that would generate enough power for a cabin was a daunting thing. Like, what do mm-hmm. I need? And what if I buy the wrong thing? Um, and in that process, this made the most sense for me in the beginning. And then now knowing and seeing what Renogy offers, it's like they put together really well curated kits mm-hmm. that would basically fit pretty much anybody's setup from the most basic to probably the most elaborate. So for the beginners out there, though, the goal zero costed you how much? And it seems as though it's working. Like uh, it, even yeah. though you can upgrade and you're choosing to upgrade, mm-hmm. it seems like it's it's doing its job. It is. And I don't know that we will upgrade this cabin. Honestly, I think we will probably continue to go stick with goal zero. I think moving in other builds, we will probably do the Renogy, mm-hmm. knowing what we know now. And the goal zero costed you how much? Um, 700 is the cost at the time of the 400, which they no longer offer. Now it's the 500X. And it's the same price. We just bought one of those. So there's mm-hmm. $700 a piece. So not terribly cheap. But when you figure out what you get for that... Um, we bought a solar panel, a hundred watt solar panel, which is like two fifty, and I bought it on a on a sale. If you look, in fact, we're going to be coming up on them. Probably they're going to have a Memorial Day sale. Mm-hmm. Um, you can I mean, so I saved like two hundred and something dollars when I bought the initial setup. Mm-hmm. So I jumped on that because I knew I was going to need it, even though I bought it months and months before we actually were even building up here. Um, but you know, so under un, under a thousand dollars. So you, for under a thousand dollars, you have the entire solar setup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and what that does for us is it, like I said, it offers the plug in light. It's an led four four foot, like led strip or three foot led strip light that we use in the kitchen. Um, it powers that it gives people an opportunity to charge their phones, their Mm -hmm. laptops. Um, it'll run some other small electric. It's not going to run a hair dryer, Mm -hmm. anything like that. They offer ones that are larger Mm -hmm. um, and much more expensive that would do a whole lot more. I mean, they can run houses off of them, but we didn't need that. And it keeps charged for about a weekend stay. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. You get a weekend out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then that's asking people to be, you know, mindful Mindful. of the use, Yeah, which doesn't always work, but we, in fact, one of the most, fun guests that we've had yeah (laughs) they came up from the city and they had never been i mean i don't know if they've really spent much time in nature at all and it was the heart of winter um they got a snowstorm they used that thing to like zero they ran out of lights yeah like they lit candles they popped (laughs) their wine bottles Uh and i'm telling you they had the most fun that we think any guests have had here Mm -hmm. in that 24 hour by candlelight (laughs) yeah I I mean, her and her friend, they had a, they did a photo shoot up here with another uh, local photographer. I mean, they had a blast and it didn't phase them a bit. Mm -hmm.